throw a frog into hot water and it will jump out. Place the same frog into cold water and increase the temperature incrementally, slowly over time, and it will boil to death. The frog becomes a victim of the contrast misreaction tendency, as we are as humans. We fall for this tendency because we see things based off relativity. We see things based off contrasts. We can never know the full truth of anything without comparing it to something else. Think of two balls moving in space. We will not be able to know the velocity of either one of these balls unless we had an inertial frame of reference, something to compare the motion with. The reason our minds think this way and our eyes see this way is because it simplifies calculations. It makes it easier to judge things if we compare them with others. Now the problem is a lot of people take advantage of this tendency within us, especially in sales. Think of real estate agents. Some shady real estate agents often show their clients three overpriced houses or three bad houses before showing them a fourth house which is still bad or still overpriced but is not as bad as the prior three. Because we would have had seen the last three houses, our decision is now influenced. It is much easier for the agent to get a sale because of this tendency. This also happens in car dealerships. The shady car dealership owner will show you perhaps three or four overpriced cars before showing you a crappier car that's still overpriced but is less overpriced than the prior ones. Once again, influencing your decisions. This also helps us buy things we don't need in upsells for more ridiculous prices than we have to pay. Think of when you're buying a laptop. Let's say you're buying a MacBook. Straight up, you're going to pay $2,000 for the laptop. But what will happen is they don't leave you at that. They will try upsell you. They will try sell you some software, 200 a piece, maybe some internet security, maybe some extra warranty for $100, maybe a screen protector, all these things. When they upsell you these things, the prices that you're paying are still too high. But because you'd have already paid a large sum of money, the 2000 for the laptop, $200 does not seem as significant. 100 extra dollars does not seem as significant. And this is where they trap people. If you were to walk into the store to buy the internet security by itself, you would not pay $200 for it. But having bought the laptop, you're more inclined to do so. You also see this tendency at work in salespeople when they cut prices. Whenever you go to stores and you see a reduced price, more often than not, the price that the product is being reduced from was never the price of the product. They just use this as a way for you to contrast, to see that now it's cheaper. Now it's a better option for you to buy. However, that is not so. It's just the contrast misreaction tendency. So you need to really be aware of this tendency. Just small incremental differences can trick the mind easily. And that is what a lot of people use to their advantage. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.